Eating meat creates toxic masculinity, according to a university professor. Eating meat is bad for you, it's bad for the country, <laughs> and it reinforces gender stereotypes, apparently. Yeah. But it tastes so good. Joining me now, Dr. <laughs> D'Alessio Parson. Okay, doctor. Why is eating meat bad, really? Well, well, we have to back up, because you, I think, at the beginning just said eating meat creates toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. the toxic masculinity is already there. It's already there. Does, making, does eating meat make toxic masculinity worse? It's one of the ways in which it can reinforce existing kind of social structures, including patriarchy. Well, how does that reinforce social structures that, where men dominate eating meat? Yeah, it's really complicated. We'll break it down for a... How about this, know, though? You said we had four or five minutes, right? Just keep it simple. How does eating meat make the genders unequal? Eating meat holds um, a lot of symbolism, and it really is too much to explain in four minutes. But it has to do with the fact that our individual level decisions, the things we decide to do as individuals, um, what we consume, what we put on our bodies, the things we buy and put in our households, mm -hmm. are fundamentally political acts. Okay. Right? The personal is political. Okay. So I'm having a steak right now because I'm Perfect. starving. I hear you. I wish I could have half of that, but this doesn't look vegan, and I'm trying to be vegan. You're a vegan? I'm really, it's really hard because I don't know if I told you I'm from Wisconsin. Okay. And uh, cheese was like one of my favorite things. See, how, that looks pretty good. That's a little rare, medium rare. Yeah. Is got this some nice dead animal, dead cow hanging on your fork. Is this bad that I'm eating meat? If you go hunting, that's a totally different story, right? The blood's on your hands. Right now, you're kind of just enjoying the benefit and the blood's on someone else's hands, and that's not very fair. What if they want to hunt meat, or what if they want to raise cattle? Oh, totally, but the idea of killing and taking a life, um, that we should really deeply consider what that means for us as human beings. You know, people have said you should judge a society by how it uh, treats their animals. And we, you know, it'd be great if we had universal health care for our animals. Universal health care for animals, that could be expensive. Um, we can afford it, look. Really? Because we're $20 trillion dollars in debt. Um, I got some money. <laughs> I got Do you nice care mug. more about people or animals? I care about um, our world. And I think in order for us to achieve a more sustainable future, particularly regarding what's happening with climate change, we need to figure out how the 7.6 billion of us on this planet can be good neighbors. And we're really bad at being good neighbors right now. Okay, so like, why should I be a good neighbor to a squirrel? Well, you don't have to worry about, if you don't want to worry too much about the squirrel right now, <sighs> the squirrel's part of nature, right? If you, if you keep killing nature, what's going to happen to us? Right? If we as people keep killing nature. Me too, right? Like, I still eat cheese a lot. It's not like something that's going to be perfect. We're never going to be perfect at it. But what if you're just hungry and the animals are there for us to enjoy for dinner, for lunch, Because God said so. Breakfast. Did God tell you that? Well, I mean, why would they <laughs> taste so good if we weren't supposed to eat them? Sugar tastes good. Yeah, sugar I eat sugar too. Obesity, diabetes. Well, I mean, I have... Some sugar, but... I mean, you clearly have a lot... I don't just pour sugar down my throat. You clearly have some things around, like, who you are that protect you, and, like, especially a lot of, I think, financial resources to, like, do things like buy really expensive steaks. Okay. Um, so that's also part of the problem, is that some people are really taking up more than their fair share of, you know, So plate. the rich people are stealing all the steak from the poor people. Surplus value. Okay, well, you know what? I got a book for you. I'm going to go take this Wait, state, and I'm going to go give it to a homeless guy out on 6th Avenue. Go for it. And um, I'm gonna, you were saying you needed books doctor, for Christmas. thank you very much. I will take your book, and I will take a bite of the steak. And this is the book I'm reading. And it's delicious.